This is the account of the family line of Esau, that is Edom. Esau took his wives from the women of Canaan, Ada, daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Oholibama, daughter of Anah, and granddaughter of Zibion, the Hivite, also Basemath, daughter of Ishmael, and sister of Nebaioth. Ada bore Elipaz to Esau. Basemath bore Reu, and Oholibama bore Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau that were born to him in Canaan. Esau took his wives and sons and daughters and all the members of his household as well as his livestock and all his other animals and all the goods he had acquired in Canaan and moved to a land some distance from his brother Jacob. Their possessions were too great for them to remain together. The land where they were staying could not support them both because of their livestock. So Esau, that is Edom, settled in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of the family line of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Elipaz, the son of Esau's wife Ada, and Ruel, the son of Esau's wife Basemath. The sons of Elipaz, Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. Esau's son Elipaz also had a concubine named Timnah, who bore him Amalek. These were grandsons of Esau's wife Ada. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah, these were grandsons of Esau's wife Basemath. The sons of Esau's wife Oholibama, daughter of Anna and granddaughter of Zebion, whom she bore to Esau, Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These were the chiefs among Esau's descendants. The sons of Elipaz, the firstborn of Esau, chiefs Timon, Omar, Zepho, Kenaz, Korah, Gatam, and Amalek. These were the chiefs descended from Elipaz and Edom. They were grandsons of Ada. The sons of Esau's son Ruel, chiefs Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the chiefs descended from Ruel in Edom. They were grandsons of Esau's wife Basemath. The sons of Esau's wife Oholibama, chiefs Jewish, Jalem, and Korah. These were the chiefs descended from Esau's wife Oholibama, daughter of Anna. These were the sons of Esau, that is Edom, and these were their chiefs. These were the sons of Seir, the Horite, who were living in the region. Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Anna, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. These sons of Seir in Edom were Horite chiefs. The sons of Lotan, Hori, Homam, Timna was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Alvin, Manahath, Ibal, Shepo, and Onam. The sons of Zibion, Ea, Ana. This is the Ana who discovered the hot springs in the desert while he was grazing the donkeys of his father Zibion. The children of Ana, Dishan, and Oholibama, daughter of Ana. The sons of Dishan, Hemdan, Ishban, Ithran, and Quran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zaavan, and Akan. The sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. These were the Horite chiefs, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Ana, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. These were the Horite chiefs, according to their divisions in the land of Seir. 
These were the kings who reigned in Edom before any Israelite king reigned. Bela, son of Beor, became king of Edom. His city was named Denabah. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah from Bozrah, succeeded him as king. When Jobab died, Husham from the land of the Temanites succeeded him as king. When Husham died, Hadad, son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king. His city was named Avith. When Hadad died, Samla from Mazraka succeeded him as king. When Samla died, Shaul from Rehoboth on the river succeeded him as king. When Shaul died, Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, succeeded him as king. When Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, died, Hadad succeeded him as king. His city was named Pau, and his wife's name was Mehetabal, daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mizahab. These were the chiefs descended from Esau, by name according to their clans and regions. Timna, Alva, Jetherth, Oholibama, Ella, Pinan, Kinaz, Timan, Mibzar, Migdiel, and Iram. These were the chiefs of Edom, according to their settlements in the land they occupied. This is the family line of Esau, the father of the Edomites.